whilst I was out, um, I went and picked up this from Waterstones. And I'll tell you something, Waterstones in a big power chair with lots of Christmas angry shoppers and Mardi shoppers and people that are stressed shoppers um, does not mix very well, I've got to say. Um, so, yeah, this is um, a gratitude... Um, a day and night reflection journal. I reserved this because I just, it was like, I wanted a new one because my happy journal is coming to an end and it's been actually really helpful. Some days, some entries haven't really applied to me, some of the points that, you know, she sort of gets you to think about. Um, doesn't apply to me because I don't work and all this, that and the other, I don't socialise, so it's a bit different. Um, but I wanted something else because I quite like the, you know, checking in daily and writing down things and stuff. So I decided to go with this one. It's called the Gratitude Journal. It was twelve ninety nine for 184 pages. Um, where it will help you centre your day around positive feelings and gratitude. Each page of the journal includes space to record expressions of gratitude, personal affirmations, memories of positive interactions and com commentaries on the significance of it all. This 90 day journal will help you integrate the gratitude and deep reflection into your daily life. Having filled the journal with statements of thankfulness, you will end up with a personal trove of wonderful reflections, which can be a source of positive inspiration at any time. Hmm. And then it says, keeping a gratitude journal is an effective way to feel happier and more motivated in your day-to-day -day life. Regular attention to this journal will encourage you to focus more on things that inspire and enrich you and less on things that drain your energy and resources. So I thought, that sounds really good. The prompts in this journal will guide you to reflect on the people, things and events that fill your heart with appreciation and joy. You can record big accomplishments like running a marathon. <laughs> Now, that would be a big accomplishment if I could run a marathon. And small delights like your morning cup of tea. What matters most is that you recognise the good emotions associated with writing gratitude entries and notice how they impact your everyday life. Designed to be annotated twice a day, this journal prompts you to set out with a positive mood each morning and reflect thankfully on the day's events and emotions each day. Take your time writing entries, savour each new experience and enjoy the gifts that gratitude can bring to each moment. So that is the plan. So this is what it looks like inside. I know you're not going to be able to see too well. Um, so you've got morning meditation, today's focus, an affirmation for today, what I'm grateful for, what I'm excited about today. How I'll make space for gratitude today. Good things that happened um, today. So this is in the evening reflection. Things I did to make a positive difference. How I felt today. Um, so it goes from happy, content, proud, hopeful, loving, connected, balanced, joyful, relaxed, creative, excited. And then there's a one for your own thought. Neutral. Insecure, discouraged, drained, sad, scared, angry, annoyed, anxious, stressed, overwhelmed. And then a positive thought to carry me to sleep. <laughs> it needs to be a big one to get me to sleep, I tell you. So yeah, there's 90 days of all this sort of stuff. I want to get some affirmation cards as well. I want to keep in the positive vibe and we'll see what happens, shall we? <laughs> it could be quite interesting. So yeah, I thought for twelve ninety nine that'll do. I just want something just to keep me ticking over because I quite like the happy book. But all the ones that I found that are brand new ones of those are all not brand new and they're all sort of second hand so they've been written in and that and I thought, well that's no good. So there we go. That will do, mate. I wanted an, um, like one for mental health, anxiety, depression, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I think they must be very popular because, um, you know, I couldn't find any. Well, I could, but you had to wait forever in a day to get hold of one. So, anyhow, that will do for now.
I'm going to make myself a coffee. I'm just going to chill for a minute and then I'm going to make myself something to eat um, a bit later on. I've got some potatoes that were cooked from yesterday. So I'm going to roast those. I just fancy roast potatoes. I know Monday is going to be Christmas Day and, you know, eating roasts again. But I don't mind. I like roast potatoes. I could eat them quite happily till they come out of my ears. Um, so, yeah. Right, I sure love and leave. I just thought I'd share with you my positive thinking. Let's see, shall we? Let's see how we uh, how we do with all this. But yeah, I just want to centre myself, put some ha positive, happy vibes in me because I'm getting really stressed out at the minute with um, waiting for this kitchen to be done and all the adaptions and waiting on the pit form to be looked at and, you know, a comment at that. So... <sighs> Breathe, breathe. Right. Love and leave and all that. Catch you later. Bye.